and effective security warning is concrete and clear, appeals to authority, and doesn't pop up too often, say the results of a study into the psychology of malware warnings conducted by Cambridge University researchers. The research showed that users mostly turn off the warnings because of the high rate of false positives, but that the overwhelming majority of all users keep the warnings on. A Japanese investigator will head a new Interpol bureau whose main task is to support cybercrime investigations. The new bureau, called the Interpol Global Complex for Innovation, will be established in Singapore in September and is expected to comprise about 70 officials. In cooperation with their counterparts in Interpol's offices in France and Argentina, the officials will keep an eye on cybercrimes 24 hours a day in three shifts. They will also monitor underground websites on which criminals exchange information with each other and share the surveillance information with Interpol member countries. Several days ago, the home page for OpenSSL, the cryptography library used by almost everyone who isn't Microsoft, was hacked. The extent of the attack was just what you see, the home page was defaced, nothing else on the site was modified, they got hacked through the hypervisor, but it's not the hypervisor's fault. Blame their hosting service, 